to the weight of water tutorial. In this tutorial, you will be learning what it means when water is at 4 degrees Celsius, how it relates to volume, capacity, and mass, and about surface area. Water at 4 degrees Celsius. When water is at 4 degrees Celsius, the water molecules are as close as it can be, making water at 4 degrees Celsius the most dense water can be. Now let's say that the water was at 10 degrees Celsius. Then the water molecules will be more spread apart, making it less dense. Volume, Capacity, and Mass Let's say you have a cylinder which has a diameter of 10 centimeters and has a height of 20 centimeters. You want to fill it up with water at 4 degrees Celsius. To do this, you need to figure out the capacity of this cylinder, but that comes second. First, you need to figure out the volume of the cylinder. Volume. The formula for figuring out the volume of any prism is area of base times height. Now, the base of a cylinder is a circle. The formula to figure out the area of a circle is pi, which is 3.14, multiplied by r squared. r stands for the radius, which is the diameter divided by 2, which in this case is 10 divided by 2, which equals 5. What this means is that the diameter of this circle is 5 centimeters, which will be squared. Let's plug in the numbers. Volume equals pi times r squared multiplied by height, which equals 3.14 times 5 squared multiplied by the height, which is 20 centimeters. This equals 3.14 times 25 times 20. Now to the area of base. This equals 75.42, which will be multiplied by 20 which means that the volume is 1508.4 cubic centimeters. Now that you know that the volume is 1508.4 cubic centimeters, you now need to convert it into milliliters to figure out the capacity. To do this, you need to remember the conversion for every cubic centimeter equals 1 milliliter which means that 1,508.4 cubic centimeters equals 1,508.4 milliliters. Now, not only does 1 cubic centimeter equals 1 milliliter, but it also equals 1 gram, which means that 1,508.4 cubic centimeters equals 1,508.4 milliliters which also equals 1,508.4 grams. Now, to sum up everything that we've learned, this cylinder has a volume of 1,508.4 cubic centimeters. It can hold up to 1,508.4 milliliters of water. When this water is in the cylinder, it will weigh 1,508.4 grams in total. If the water wasn't at 4 degrees Celsius, then it would weigh less as you learned before. Now let's say you're in a situation in which you need to paint the outside of the cylinder and you need to figure out the total area of paint that's going to cover the outside of the cylinder. Well, to figure this out, you need to figure out the surface area of this cylinder. Surface area for any prism equals area of base times 2 plus the perimeter of base times height. Now, as you know, area of base is pi times r squared, which will now be multiplied by 2, times pi times diameter, which is the formula for figuring the perimeter of base times height. This equals 3.14 times 5 squared times 2 plus 3.14 times 10 times 20. Now this equals 3.14 times 25 times 2 plus 3.14 times 10 times 20. Now let's split this up into two parts, the area of base times 2 and the perimeter of base multiplied by the height. Now the first part equals 150.42 cubic square centimeters plus 600.42 square centimeters. 
which in total equals 750.84 square centimeters. Now, what this means is that the surface area of the cylinder is 750.84 square centimeters. The weight of water tutorial recap. In this tutorial, you have now learned what it means when water is at 4 degrees Celsius. You learned how it's related to volume, capacity, and mass. And you've learned how to calculate the surface area of any prison. Well, thank you for watching my tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it.